Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have seven knives we're going to go through really quickly. Now, this is the new Kaiser Cormorant. It is a very fidgety knife, a button lock. We got the reverse flick, regular flipper, front flipper. You can always use the button. And you got the thumb flick. I mean, there's so many ways to deploy this. And it's not a very large knife. It, it is more of a medium to small size knife. Now, I know these were recently just available and they sold out extremely fast. We got a nice hollow ground blade in S35 VM. Really cool. Um, beautiful blade shape for EDC. And this is a really useful EDC blade. I have used it a bit. And one thing that's really surprising to me about this that I'm actually really happy about because, you know, I was excited to get it. Then after getting it, I was a little underwhelmed. I was just, just a little bit, but then after having it for a little while, I, there's something that r I really like about it. I've fidgeted with this thing. I've cut with it, done a bunch of stuff, and there is absolutely no blade rock, no blade play whatsoever. And I'm really happy to see that. Now, is it going to wind up getting Blade Rock? Possibly. I don't know. But as of right now, it does not. When a lot of other button lock knives got, you know, Blade Rock faster than, you know, than this. Meaning, like, I've gotten new ones since this one and they've already gotten it. It's just kind of something with button locks. Anyways, the action's really good. It is extremely extremely smooth now left-handed it is going to work good but you do have to worry about the button because you can kind of put your finger right there in that area but it still does work i kind of just point my finger up and put it like that instead of laying it like that and then it works just fine um the clip is reversible it is g10 now the hollow ground blade is nice and thin behind the edge and it does cut very very well i actually need to put an edge on it um starting to get a little dull jimping rides all the way up the spine i do really like that this jimping right here i don't really use it but you know you can i guess um you know it, it's not really even though it does ride the whole spine of the blade i don't really use it too much at least on this knife but the couple things I dislike about it, though, is I don't like this white and black G10. I don't like the lines. I don't really mind the white and black so much, but these lines, they just, I don't think it looks good. They do have a White Mountain Knives exclusive coming with Micarta. Now, that looks awesome. Very, very awesome. So, you know, um, I'm sure those will sell out extremely, extremely fast. But... Really cool knife overall, and if you're wanting a button lock, this is a great option. The flipping action works very well. The jimping is really nice, very grippy. Great, great flipping action. The reverse flick is also really good. And, you know, all the actions are really good. The front flipper, though, eh, it's good, but it's not great. It works just fine. There's no problem with it. It's just not the best. Uh, but all the other actions, I mean, you can still use it though, but I like, you know, how compact it gets. And then you just have this reverse flicking hole that is, you know, exposed, but all in all solid knife. And I'm surprised how solid it has held up. Next, we got the Viper Knives Baloney. I think it's called the baloney <laughs> anyways this is an m390 steel it is a vox design and it is a titanium liner with a little spring titanium clip i'm guessing it's reversible i never tried it but the ergos are pretty nice i do feel this clip quite a bit but you know it's still useful um you know the grip you can get is still going to be very useful without bothering you too much you can get up nice and tight to that blade for push cuts and it, it is pretty unique and i do like that very slim so you know um even though it does get or since it gets wider back here it is still a good grip while being very slim Blade shape is very useful. Now, the action is insane on this thing. The, the flipping action. You don't... The 
the jimping's very grippy. And it's such a small flipper tab, you wouldn't expect it to have this much leverage. It kind of reminds me of the Tucson TS240 in that way, because they kind of have the same style flipper tab, but where it just works so good. You get so much leverage. It almost doesn't even feel like you deployed it, and it comes out every time. I really like that. Now, it's not fall shutty or nothing, but, you know, it's very smooth. No, you know, the knives don't have to be false shutty. It is very smooth and it does drop very nicely, nice and centered. Jimping is in a very good place for this one. Now, the M390 steel. So, Italy, because this is an Italian knife, Italy usually runs it pretty soft. So, that is a thing. There, I, I haven't felt too many M390 knives from um italy that wasn't soft but you know it is what it is you know it's still uh, gonna perform halfway decent now another thing is this choil or the the plunge grind you can see from the i think this is the factory edge yeah it is the factory edge and you can see they hit the plunge grind so if they hit the plunge grind you can imagine what you're gonna do Luckily, you could always put in your own choil and everything. Um, next thing, I can touch the tip very, very easily. So, but other than those couple little things, it is an awesome, awesome knife. Um, the liner lock is easy to access. I do like that quite a bit. Nice and slim. Very cool EDC. Very cool sound. Great flipping action. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is a Tucson I recently got. And I did just recently do a first impressions on this, but I've been carrying it quite a bit. I like this one a lot. This Tucson is, I think it's the Tucson TS 300. 14C 28N. We have a dual grind. We have a hollow grind and a flat grind up here. Nice and slicey on both of them. The Ergos are really nice. It does have a... A, you know, a, a nice feeling to it, a good higher end feeling. Access to lock bars, perfect. It is stupid smooth, definitely m close to fall shut action. I mean, it is basically a fall, fall shut action. The detent, very, very well tuned for the reverse flick. Even in the left hand, I can easily get it, whether I hover the clip or if I go over this way like this. Now, a lot of them, you don't, you can't get like that because you wind up locking yourself out of the detent. But what I do is I just put my finger over the pivot, and then I'm barely touching the detent, and it works just fine. So this is definitely one for the lefties that would work just fine. Now... Beautiful sharpening choil, like I said, nice and thin. I can see the grind is a little uneven, but and I haven't sharpened it yet, but cutting performance is really good. The secondary tip is nice and sharp and acute. The tip, uh, I haven't used it too much, to be honest, but I'm sure, you know, it works just fine. Um, it is very acute. You're going to, oh, wait, I actually stabbed it into something and bent the tip. <laughs> I forgot. I did bend the tip a little bit. It's not too bad. I tried to straighten it out. But so I'll let you know, this is a fragile tip. But everything is refined really nicely. We have very subtle micro milling on the edges of the titanium no milling which i'm happy about we have one of mazwan mokdar's clips i'm not a huge fan of his clips but you know this tension is just fine so this one actually works works out good um ergos are really really good and yeah this is just a really good one i can even spidey flick this one with my pinky i mean it's such an easy flick this one it's very fidgety from the spidey flick so great great option for anybody wanting a spidey flicker knife a spidey flicker next we have the kaiser bag lighter in titanium now this comes in a couple different options you, you can also get this in a tanto and it has a dual grind we have a hollow grind and then a flat grind up here it does, it is very nice and, or it's nice and thin, very nice and thin <laughs> behind the edge right here. And then it does thicken up a little bit, get a little bit more robust up here at the flat grind area. Really nice in the hand, especially considering how slim it is. Feels really, really comfortable. I don't feel the clip at all. Very nice. And then you can get up nice and tight to that blade for push cuts. Even though this isn't 
really a harder use knife where you really bear down and get push cuts but it's still very comfortable and you can definitely get it now the action is really good the detent has a very clean break very hard to fail nice and smooth on the drop and it does get past the detent really quick i do get a little bit of lock stick here and there and you can kind of reverse flick it but it is it's not easy at all it, it's not not easy so don't expect to, to spidey flick it but man the detent on the flipper tab is amazing lots of milling on the inside of there clip works great access to the lock bar is really good and the blade shape is a really good blade shape now I don't know, you know, with the Tonto and the drop point, I never tried the Tonto, but I'd really like to. Um, I think that the Tonto might even be a better option with this exact model, but it's hard to say. Either way, the drop point version works just fine. You can do utility cuts. They're not going to be the best because you do kind of have to lift up quite a bit, but you could still get by and do them nice and slicey behind the edge. And, you know, the tip... It's not really robust. It's like kind of in the happy medium range where you don't want to beat on it too hard, but it's you know still um, still pretty robust. I don't think you'll have to worry about it. I didn't really beat on this thing to really find out, but it's the action is so good on this. But like I said, I did get a hint of lock stick here and there, um, not too bad, and it does have a steel lock bar insert, so that would break in pretty quickly. Um, other than that. I, the only other, the only thing I can really think of that I dislike is you can really get to this tip. I mean, I can snag my finger a little bit. Maybe one good sharpening. I don't know if that would make it better, but it might. Other than that, the plunge grind is nice and close to the the edge. I don't like to see that. I'd rather that be moved. And yeah, not too many bad things on this one. This one's pretty good. Next, now this one comes in two different blade shapes. We're going to check this one out, but it also does come in a drop point blade shape as well. They're very similar. The only difference is, is the blade shape. I do have a rake video coming soon with a, a bunch of them. M662, the M is for the titanium version because this also comes in a budget option. So just know that there is a budget option available, and I'll be linking as much as possible down in the description. Now, the action is really good. However... There's two things here that's going on. One, we have very tiny thumb studs that are rather sharp. They're only sharp because they're tiny. Now, that's not that big of a deal as long as you don't put your finger on the lock bar. You do have death lock on this, and it's not even really... I mean, you can get past the detent when you lock yourself out, but it makes the thumb studs very sharp. However, if you keep your finger off of that lock bar, it is very well tuned, very smooth, very easy. It almost feels weak. <laughs> it's so easy. And you can see I put the ring around this thumb stud because, you know, it was bothering me at first. But then once I realized, man, just keep your fingers off the lock bar, it doesn't bother you at all. And... The access to the lock bar is really nice, feels nice and comfortable, very smooth on the drop. The blade shape on this is an extremely useful blade shape for EDC, and the compact design is going to work out great for a lot of people. You can do a lot of detail work with this blade shape. Nice little dent here to kind of be a locator, I guess. You know, I don't know what else you'd really use it for. G10 on this side, no liner or anything. And there is milling on the inside of the titanium. Nice thick slab of titanium. And it has a nice bead blasted finish over it. Now when I unlock it, you see the stop pin down there. It does go into G10. I don't think that's a big deal considering this is more of a lighter duty knife. So it's not like you're going to be, you know, batoning or anything with this. So not an issue at all. 154 CM. Good uh, steel, you know, it's more of a mid-grade, budget to mid-grade steel. Most people in this day and age, we'd call it a, ooh, I guess you can't, I never tried that. I just, <laughs> I guess you can front flip it. This is the first time I ever tried that. I just looked at the jimping and <laughs> realized it. Um, not the best front flipper, but you actually can do it pretty, I mean, I'm doing it pretty easily. Let's see if we can do this one. Yeah. Wow. 
Never would have thought that. This one's not as easy, but I can still do it. This one, for some reason, is a little easier. But anyways, um, all in all, I guess the only negative thing or the negative things is the detent is strong. If you touch the lock bar, if you don't touch the lock bar, it's fine. Thumb studs are small. Um, stop pin, like I said, it goes into G10, but I don't think that's much of an issue at all. The only other thing, the choil, it, the plunge grind hits the choil right on there. So when you sharpen it, you are going to be scratching up your plunge grind. The clip, the clip works fine. It works just fine, but there's those those screws like that. I do not like those screws. I'd rather see flat screws and an inset clip. Um, or it is an inset clip, but I wish it had flat screws as well. Now, it's not a reversible clip, but Cool knife, though. Very cool knife, and it's very small and compact, and a lot of people could definitely use this as, you know, just a backup or even their main EDC. It's just, it's, um you know, it's such a small, very lightweight. It's super light. So, let's get to the next one. The Concept Spirit. Now, the Concept Spirit, I have one big issue with it. Um, good knife. Okay. I know it's kind of weird looking and it is a little ugly, but we have S35 VN blade steel, amazing action, really good spidey flicking action, good detent on the flipper tab, nice smooth drop. It's ergos melt in your hand. This thing is super duper comfortable. You can choke up a little bit, but the utility cuts work out great. Slicing's great. Push cuts are great. It is a little robust though. Um, it is more of a thicker grind, but it still does work out pretty good. And it came with a pretty good edge. But the problem I have with it is this clip. I don't carry it. I won't carry it. I refuse to carry it. Now, this is a great option for lefties, though. And I'm going to tell you why. One, the spidey flick is very, very easy on this one, lefty. I'm not a lefty, and I can easily do it. Now, the detent is not like it's really light or anything. Um, you know, it just works out. You get a lot of leverage on the spidey flick, I guess. You know, it's not like a really strong detent. I can fail it, but it's also, you know, I have to try. But this clip lands right on this thing. I can't get it in my pocket. I can't get it in or out of my pocket. It sucks. Trying to get this in my pocket is a nightmare. But reversible clip. So lefties... If you put this on this side, it's a perfect knife for lefties. This would be a great option for lefties. Um, I do not recommend it for right-handed people, though, because you're just, the clip sucks. Unless if you don't mind carrying the clip on the other side. Um, awesome knife, though. Uh, crappy clip. I know it is a little ugly, and it does have a robust grind. But for what you're going to be using it for mostly, it works really, really good. And the ergos do melt in your hand. And it does feel you know, refined really nicely. I mean, it, it has, um, you know, it's really soft, I guess you could say, around the edges. You can tell they did put some effort into it. We have lots of milling on the inside. It's not too heavy, but yeah, let's get to the next one. Now, last one. The next knife is one of the best tuned detents you can find on a knife. This is the Drop Orca. And I felt a few of these. There are a couple of them. And all of them had the exact same detent. This is a detent you cannot fail unless if you are trying to cheat. But if you just grab that flipper tab and pull down, even if I try to fail it, <laughs> it still comes out with authority. The detent is just, it's strong. But you have such a clean break with the with the flipper tab and with the thumb studs. Thumb studs equally as good. Like such good thumb stud action. The liner lock is eh, I I wish well it's it's a titanium liner lock, so all titanium liner, no lock bar insert, and the lock face geometry is amazing, super strong lock up it must be carbonized we have like a brushed anodized you know titanium liner titanium backspacer hardware and milled pocket clip thumb studs are titanium 
RWL 34 stonewashed blade. Access to the liner could be a little better, but I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. It's not that bad. It's not something I would, you know, scream about too much. It's just I wish it was a little bit better, but it's not horrible. But this action, man, even the detent when you unlock it, it's nice and early. So you're always past the detent. You never fumble around with the detent. Such a clean, man. It's hard to talk about anything else but the action on this thing. It's so good. The ergos are really nice in the hand. Now, you do have this spot where you can choke up a little bit. And since it's flat right here, it gives you a great place to, to lay your whole palm on the spine for push cuts. And then we have like a spear point harpoon blade shape that's going to be very, very useful. RWL 34 is similar to like 154 CM. And I know people are going to say they wish the steel was better on this for the price. I don't think it's that big of a deal. These are mostly going to be used for EDC. They could totally be hard used, but you know, for just basic EDC stuff, I mean, RWL 34 takes a ridiculously sharp edge. And you know, it's the same stuff Damascus Steel is made out of. But awesome, awesome knife. And it comes in a couple different options. <sighs> I, this is a knife you could fidget with all day and still be impressed.